Hello, welcome back. Okay, so um, what I want to do is demonstrate working with groups right now. You're going to see me use those a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and just demo them right now. Okay, so um, I've selected around this guy. and I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste. All right. And um, let's see here. So I've got another face right here. I'm going to hold down Alt or Option, okay, and drag another one over here. Okay, so let's see. This, this one here, I'm going to go ahead and make black and white. Okay, give it a pretty steep S-curve on it. There, okay, that really stands out. This guy here, let's go ahead and uh, just change the color of it and kind of oversaturate it so it's ridiculous looking. Okay, like so. And I'm going to go ahead and just double click on my background layer and hit OK. So now I have three layers here. Now, I can take these top two layers here and select the top one, hold down shift, select the second one here, and then I can group them, okay? There's lots of different ways to group. I always just hit command G, all right? And now I have grouped these layers, see that? Okay, I can actually turn on my transform controls and affect both those layers together, all right? And if I go over to any of my overlay modes, I can actually use them or uh, overlay them both together. All right, so that's really, really convenient. Okay, um, what else can we do here? We can duplicate groups. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna commit to that uh, transform there. Now we can duplicate groups. Okay, and then we can shut this one off and we can then merge this group. Now this is one layer, all right? And so um, what I did right there, I do quite a bit when I make groups because I like to copy one Okay, and then merge one so that if I realize I didn't want to do that, I always have my other ones here that I can go back to. All right, so that's working with groups. It's, um, well, there's so many different things that groups are great for. Um, if you have a really complex composition and there's a lot of parts together, you just want to group them so that you're moving around the whole object, that's obviously fantastic. If you want to just organize your different uh, elements into different groups and then you can, of course, name them, that's another great thing to do. But anyway, you're going to see me work with groups a lot and there's nothing to them. Um, this is how you do it, just control G. And of course, let's see, uh, speaking of controller command G, I've got, I've got this group selected right here. You can also right click and ungroup. Okay, now I have those two layers again. They are no longer in a group. All right, so you'll see me work with them a lot. That's working with groups.